Hi everyone! It's been so, so long since I sat down and filmed like a sit down talking video. I've got a new background. I used to film more, well, like I probably will still film in my living area, but I got a new dressing table. Well, it wasn't new, my sister gave it to me for free, thanks G. Um, so I have a little setup now and I can film in my bedroom, which is just feels more chilled, it feels more relaxed. Um, if you're new here, I'm Louisa. I have been recently solo traveling and I also traveled last year. I create travel vlogs, um, travel content, tips, advice, sometimes some lifestyle as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I would film today a sit down video about my top tips for female solo travelers. I solo traveled a lot when I was at uni, like a few, quite a few years ago now. Um, because I did my uni placement over in Thailand and I solo traveled around Thailand then and this year I went back to solo traveling. I solo traveled the Philippines, I solo traveled Prague, um, technically solo traveled Singapore even though I was staying with my family there. Some days I obviously went out on my own while they were at work or college. So I have some experience under my belt. I have some really good tips that I used when I was traveling and I think just would be really helpful for anyone that's thinking of solo travel. Before we get into this properly, if you're here because you are thinking of solo traveling and you're really scared and you're really anxious, please, please, please do not let that stop you because solo traveling has been the best experience of my life and I would highly recommend it. There's so much scaremongering I feel about this country is dangerous, this country is dangerous. At the end of the day, any country is dangerous. Um, London can be dangerous. So it's being aware of the place that you're going to. My first tip, which is one of the most obvious, is to research any places that you're looking to go. Research in terms of look up the entry requirements, but also look up how safe it is for solo travellers, um, if it's a popular destination for solo travellers, places to avoid because at every single country in the world there are specific locations that you should avoid to ensure your safety. I find a really good way for me to research destinations is just YouTube so I'll watch other travel content creators especially solo travellers I'll look up like female solo travel in Manila or female solo travel in Bali or whatever um, wherever you're going and have a look at other people's vlogs to find out kind of how they felt, did they feel safe, they can give some good tips for that specific location which is really helpful. So I did that a lot when I was looking to go to the Philippines and just make sure before you arrive somewhere that you have a bit of knowledge about the area and about the things to be, be cautious about. In terms of when you're at the location, don't ever tell anyone you're alone. I've had it a lot in, in taxis when I've been traveling, so taxi drivers will be like obviously being friendly, making conversation. That is the annoying thing that it's like, you could be being really friendly and lovely and nice and asking me questions because you're genuinely interested, but it's just not worth the risk of like, you don't know that they are asking to be polite and to be friendly. So the best thing you can do is if someone says, are you here alone? no i'm not here alone i think my go-to was no actually mine changed my my response so i had a couple taxi drivers drop me back to where i was staying and they were like oh are you here alone obviously i'm thinking well you know where i'm staying now i'm not going to tell you that i'm staying here alone um so no my family are here or my family are actually landing tonight they're coming to join me i think i used that one um in porto princesa um a tuk tuk driver was asking a lot of questions and i just said uh, my boyfriend's here, he's just sick today, or I don't know, like, I was just making up random shit. Another tip is to always be polite but firm. Don't let people um, patronise you, don't let people make you feel scared. You are most likely going to get attention. You are going to have salespeople coming up to you trying to sell you stuff, tour guys trying to sell you tours. Um, just be polite but be firm. It's hard to say, like, don't appear to be, like, Ah, like nervous and scared because of course like if you are and you you can't hide that then you know it is what it is but definitely try your best to appear confident i had this thing in my head a lot in asia like i'm walking with purpose so i would go somewhere new have no idea where i am but i would pretend like the way i would walk is like i know i know where i am i've been here before i know where i'm going another tip that's not really safety um associated but it is a tip for solo female travelers Stay in hostels, always stay in hostels. And I know this might seem so um, obvious, like, of course, like, why wouldn't you if you were backpacking or traveling? But when I was younger and I was traveling Thailand, I always booked hotels because hotels are so affordable and I 
just liked obviously having my own room and I liked being on my own and I felt really nervous about staying in a hostel and having to speak to people that I didn't know. I was just like much more shy back then. So like the idea of going to a hostel was like, why would I do that when I can afford to pay 20 pound a night for this amazing hotel with a swimming pool and private room? Um, as much as that was great, it's lonely, especially if you're going traveling for a long time and you, you will not meet any friends. Well, you might, but like, it's unlikely that you'll make any friends that way. And I remember being on a trip. I was only, um, I think I was 19 or 20 when I was solo traveling Thailand. And I remember being on a trip in Phuket and a girl was like, oh, how come? She was another female solo traveler. And she was like, how come you're staying in a hotel? And I tried to like explain to her and she's like, oh my gosh, no, you should always stay in hostels. It's the only way you'll make friends. That always stuck with me. Um, so then this year when I was going to the Philippines, I was like, booking all hostels because I wanted to meet people and oh my god I met like my favorite people ever shout out to Gabby I actually really liked combining her hostels with hotels because don't get me wrong hostels are amazing to meet people but I have a social battery I would say I'm like 50% introverted and 50% extroverted so after like a few days in the hostel I was definitely like I need my own space I need my own bathroom I need to like just go be a hermit for a few days before I can go back out again. One of my biggest tips is to have your location services always turned on for your friends and family. So I have an iPhone, I have Find My iPhone. Um, I think my mum has access, my sister has access. Give access to your friends or your family. I think the more people that can see where you are and track you, that you trust obviously, um, the better because you never know. And always just letting your family know your whereabouts. So I talk to my mum every day, we're really close. She always knew what my plans were. I'm going here today, I'm going there. In terms of theft, tourism, um, theft and robbery. So like people targeting tourists is obviously um, quite high. So I took a few measures to try to prevent that from happening. Actually going out to Asia again this year, I wasn't anxious too much about something happening to me more serious, but I was actually thinking it, there is a high chance of my phone getting um, robbed because it happens here in London all the time. My sister last week literally got her phone robbed in a pub. Um, luckily she got it back. That's a whole other story, but it's obviously, you know, it's a huge thing, phone theft. Um, first of all, make sure you have uh, insurance. That's what I made sure of before I left. I had insurance. Um, tech specific insurance a lot of travel insurance companies do not cover um tech so like your laptop your phone make sure that you check that and another thing to just look out for as well on a lot of tech insurance there are terms and conditions that are like as an example if you leave your bag on a beach and go swimming and your stuff gets stolen they don't cover you um so there's different like terms so look into that kind of stuff as well I don't remember if I mentioned in a vlog, but I also had this like phone um, case that like straps around your body. So whenever I knew I was gonna have my phone out a lot, right? I think it's so unrealistic and annoying when my family and my parents are like, don't ever get your phone out, keep your phone locked in your bag at all times. Come on, how am I gonna navigate my way around? Like my phone is out at all times, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm either looking at directions, researching places to eat, or filming. So my phone is going to be out 99% of the time. So the way around that was I bought this um, crossbody strap from Amazon. It was literally 10 pounds. And yeah, anytime I was using my phone, it was like around my body. So that just prevents people from being able to like walk past or drive past and just like grab the phone out of your hands. I actually met um, someone while I was traveling and he said that had happened to him. I can't remember where he was. Maybe he said Bali, um, but a motorbike drove past him, grabbed his phone, and that was it. So yeah, crossbody phone case is like amazing. Highly recommend that one. I'll actually link the case that I bought in the caption below. And what's really funny, I didn't even think about this when I was buying it, but when I was in Porto Princesa on a trip, the tour guide was telling us all about the uh, monkeys and how do not get your phone out or like anything because the monkeys will steal it. And then I was like, what if I have this? And she was like showing everyone. I think this is what I mentioned in my vlog. She was showing everyone like, this is what you need for the monkeys. So not only is it good to stop theft from humans, but it's great for to stop. You you want you you could do so you you do you could potential theft by monkey for ten pound. Why wouldn't you get that? Honestly, this is actually a very random one that I just thought of, but it's so so relevant to us girls, and that is all about if guys are watching right now. 
just skip, like press the arrow, skip ahead. Periods. No, God, please, no, no, no. So uh, a lot of countries, the, um, well, not only the sanitary products, that is a good point as well for me to mention, but the actual facilities available is something that you must consider as a girl that is gonna get your period every month. So a lot of Asian countries, as an example, firstly, do not, it's not like part of Asian, I don't know if this is a right way to say it, part of Asian culture, it's not a thing for women in Asia to wear tampons. So that's the first thing I'm gonna say. If you start your period in Asia and you don't have tampons, you are gonna find it very, very expensive to find tampons. They do sell them, it's hard to find them. And when you do find them, they do like a box of six for about 10 pounds, like it's ridiculous. Um, so <laughs> I made that mistake last year when I went traveling. This year, oh, I actually have a really funny story about that, but I don't think that's one for YouTube. Maybe it's a TikTok one. Um, I packed like three months worth of tampons in my suitcase because I just didn't want to risk that again. Um, so yeah, a lot of Western women, we primarily like wear tampons. So that's quite a big thing to like think that you wouldn't think of, but you should think about it. Um, secondly is like planning your trips around it. So as an example, when I did the Hajang Loop in Vietnam, I knew that that whole motorbike experience and being in rural Vietnam and villages, that the facilities aren't gonna be the greatest. There might be some holes in the floor. Do I want to be on that time of month while I'm doing that? Definitely, definitely not. So I made sure to plan that trip when I wasn't on. To be honest, I think I've covered everything I can think of. Let me know if you have any further um, solo travel tips. It doesn't have to be just for females. It could be for both. Um, please leave a comment below and let me know. If you I don't know if you guys notice because you don't hear me talk that much, but my voice in this video, like my voice is going, I think. It's going. There's more travel content coming soon, I promise. I'm actually going to Porto in, uh, what's the day say, Tuesday? In like a week and a half. Well, not this weekend, next weekend. I'm going to Porto with my boyfriend. I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be such a lovely time and it's supposed to be really sunny. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to say thanks. And yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye.